What is up, Loop Troop and fellow new Pokemon Pocketeers? I'm Loopy Fist, and I've been helping you guys with a lot of these solo EX battles. They're pretty tough, especially when you don't have a lot of the cards. And that's why today I'm going to be using a, a budget deck to help you guys with this challenge. And that challenge is going to be the Venusaur EX and Executor EX deck, beating it with only fighting type Pokemon. So, I have this deck that I actually gonna make a separate video for because I love this deck. It's pretty powerful uh, and it's called Brocked Up. And basically with this deck, the way it works, most people don't play with Brock because the cards that he gives advantages to is Graveler and Onyx. You notice we don't have an Onyx in this deck. I only want to focus on Graveler. Graveler is very hungry for energy. He needs four energy to be able to um, to do a golem needs four energy to be able to deal 150 and he sacrifices 50 of his life points and, and at the cost of that so what we're going to do we're going to use him to one shot um or try to one shot a lot of these these bigger cards in here and try to stop them from getting anywhere so obviously we are weak to the grass deck so it's going to be kind of tough but we do have Dugtrio, and Dugtrio's ability allows it to flip a coin and if we hit heads they cannot attack our duck trio the next turn. We're also going to be dealing 40 damage to them every single time we trigger this. So this, this is kind of the way you play this. Now we do have one hit Mon Lee in the back line just to snipe out things that they swap out, but duck trio hit Mon Lee, They both only need one energy to attack. Nothing in here needs any more energy than what you did the one energy that you give it. So, you can give all your extra energy to Golem, as well as you have Brock, which can help you get an extra energy on a on a turn, which is very powerful for a card like this. Um, it's almost like a Gardevoir type situation. The only problem is you only got two of them to do it, and it can only happen on Golem. But 150 damage is 150 damage, so that's a lot of damage. We also got the typical Pokeball and Professor Researches. We do have a Giovanni just in case we need to get that extra little bit of damage. Sometimes, you know, you might need to knock something out with 50 instead of 40 on the Doug Trio. And we got two Sabrinas just to, just to kind of throw stuff in our favor um, with this deck. But I love this deck. I've been playing it all day versus a lot of different people. I've had a lot of good success versus Mewtwo decks. People don't want to throw Pokemon in there when they, when they can't pivot me out properly because they know once they kill something, it's game over and people don't even expect the uh the golem people are confused as to why i'm even playing with geodude and gravel they consider it to be really bad but i literally just won maybe 10 minutes ago um against a deck because they kept their moltres in and they didn't even probably think that i was going to move dug trio out of the way <laughs> and then put in my graveler transform it into golem put my energy on there from my turn and then use Brock to give me the extra energy I need. So I went from two energy to four energy on that Golem in one turn and took care of that deck. Uh, I mean, took, took care of that Moltres EX and we won the game. We, we, we just pretty much basically just cut them off from getting to their Charizard, which is really good. So that's how you play this deck. Um, just keep in mind that you only got one hit Lee, so be careful. You don't want Geodude up front first. You typically want Diglett. Um, you want to go first typically with this deck so you can go into Doug Trio the, the, the next turn and you can hit with Doug Trio right off the bat. Um, beyond that, we're going to need some luck because this deck that we're going against is still pretty strong. So let's go ahead and head out. Let's go over this deck real quick with Venusaur EX. So you got two Bulbasaur lines into Venusaur EX, obviously two Executor lines into X Executor EX. And you also got two Kangaskhan. The worst thing that can possibly happen is that they get execute early and they drop Executor down and they start welling on you. Cause that's not a lot of things we have can survive this. So you gotta be careful. Um, they don't have a Giovanni, but they do have a Sabrina. So if they see a kill, the, the computer's probably gonna go forward. They have one X speed and they have two Erica. So they can keep that Venusaur or that Executor alive for a long time if need be. Our main goal is to kill one thing early and then have enough energy on Golem to wipe out an EX. That's our main goal. If you look at it, 
160 damage on executor we just got to hit it one time and then wipe it off the map and we'll we'll win um with venusaur we had a hope that we can we can hit it before it has a lot of energy because it'll be healing each time almost impossible to get rid of this unless we can do some shenanigans with golem but it's going to be kind of tough so let's get into this and see if we can actually manage to beat this on the first try or if it's going to take us a little while but i can guarantee you we will beat it all right let's go all right, so let's go ahead and battle in here. I actually beat this earlier today, um, but I wanted to do it on video. So here we go again. All right, let's see what we got here now. Okay, we're going second, not ideal. We would much rather go. This is already a bad game because we have Geodude out early um, and we don't have anything else. So this is looking kind of bad. He's probably going to put um kangaskhan up first we want kangaskhan to come out actually we want to kill kangaskhan as early as possible because kangaskhan is going to be able to get us our um our our victory with a two with a two times ex so if we get an uh, ex to be killed then we'll be happy we're going to put him on lee out because they may try to sabrina us because they do have it we will go ahead and attack we might be able to kill the Bulbasaur first. Who knows? And these decks, it may seem like they can, but they can draw bad. It does happen. Okay. I'm thinking, let's put, let's use a professor's research first. So we got a Graveler. I'm gonna put another point. I'm gonna put Diglett out here too. He can, he, he doesn't have Giovanni, so he can't kill me next turn, but he will have quite a bit of damage. Let's go ahead and hit him with 20 again. It doesn't really matter, but unless he gets out, he won't be able to kill me next turn. And I can go into Graveler. Graveler is going to start wrecking him. Okay, great, great, great. So he put all his points on that. So that's good for us. Let's go ahead and go into Graveler. We may be able to just take these things out before they can even really get going. All right, we'll put our other Geodude out too, just in case. We do have a Golem too, so let's go ahead and go. He probably pulled really bad, but let's go ahead and kill that. Next turn, he might put in Bulbasaur. We'll get rid of that. Somebody told me today to stop saying kill on the Pokemon, but I kind of can't. It's kind of hard to. If we get our Giovanni, we can kill this in two turns. Um. Okay, I, I honestly... Wow, he killed our grabber. I was not expecting Kangaskhan to hit, to hit that like that, but okay. That's bad for us. Our Graveler is gone just like that. We really wanted to, we would have been able to kill this in a few turns, but maybe he could have killed us too. We, we never really know. Uh, oh, and there's our Giovanni too. That's really trash. Okay, well, now we'll just start banking on this Diglett and hope that we can get a professor's research, which we haven't gotten yet. So that we can actually pull something pretty decent. Now, a good thing is that I don't have to kill this if I don't want to. <clears throat> and I can start stomping on this if I'd like. It'd be great if he could stop getting heads, but he got, he got one hit, that's fine. Still, he still dealt quite a bit of damage. <clears throat> what I think I'm gonna do is actually, because we're not even getting our grappler, Let's do this. Let's retreat. We'll go into Hitmonlee. I'm not gonna kill this right off the bat. I am gonna start kicking this Venusaur <laughs> because at least we can deal some damage on it. And he was probably gonna start using his Ericas, which is fine. We just wanna make it to where if we do get a kill shot, we can kill it fairly easily. And he has to put lots of points on Kangaskhan to get out anyway. So double tails. Ah, uh, well, he's gonna hit. He's gonna hit it eventually, right? He also has a Sabrina too, so we got to be careful of that. I still don't have a, still no Doug Trio. So the game has kind of done me a disservice on not giving me any of my evolutions. Nothing that I can do about that really, except wish that the game could be better. Thank you, game. Thank you, game. I'm gonna keep. Hitting this Venusaur, he probably he has to have an Erica, right? No way he doesn't have an Erica. He has an EX, he has an Executor though. Okay. Yep, he has an Erica. Might as well start making him use those. 
Come on, double tails. Perfect. We get a freebie. Whoa, something hit us. Okay. All right, we're just gonna start slapping the heck out of this Venusaur. We got we, we got a duck trio now, so we may be able to even survive if we get that. But I really want to get if if I get if I get the opportunity to have my uh, what you call it out here. I want to make it to where either one of these I kill. Okay, that's scary. Of course. All right, well, he got his he got his final XP, so now he can actually kill this. He does 60 with with a razor, razor leaf. This is looking kind of scary now. Okay, well, we may be having to face this twice. Ugh, let's see. We do have Doug Trio. We do indeed. Can we get some good flips? They've had some decent flips. Can we have some? It'd be nice. He does have Sabrina too, so that can be a little scary. Of course, they put both of our gravelers at the bottom of the deck somehow. Don't know how they managed to do that, but hey. It's whatever. Come on, heads. You know, it's been a, it was a good run. You know what? I'm not going to give him the pleasure. I'm not going to give him the pleasure. I'm just going to go back and reset cuz oh my goodness, that that thing got extremely bad really fast okay so we beat him on our first try earlier today when i tried it i just wanted to see if it was if this deck would be good against it and it was but sometimes you just get some bad luck we also didn't get um diglett and duck trio off the rip last game and we went second so lots of bad things so we're going first this time this is a lot better for us hopefully we can get so we have diglett Let's hope that this is Kangaskhan and hope that he doesn't one shot us like last time. That was not that was not cool. All right, so we'll start. OK, so it is Kangaskhan. <clears throat> if he gets uh, well, he's going to get energy. Can we get Doug Trio? We get hit only. It's OK. We may we may get Doug Trio. Can we get it? Thank you. We got Doug Trio. So this is going to be a lot, a lot better for us. It's an ideal situation, Duck Trio on going first, because we get to transform first, and Diglett and Duck Trio both only need one energy to attack. So he hits us, can he? Don't get double heads. Well, you know, sometimes, sometimes you're the Magikarp, and sometimes you're the Pidgeot. Yep. Sometimes it just be like that, but there's still a chance for me to get my my ditto, my Diglett, not ditto. So we still got this, but I would really have liked to start hitting with my Diglett. That sounds weird. You know what I mean? We're gonna go ahead and get one hit on this Bulbazar. No reason to swap out right now. I might stay in just to try to kill this before he tries to transform. If he already has an Ivysaur, then I might not worry about it. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and get out. Well, you know what? Maybe he doesn't have a Venusaur. Is he gonna get a double heads again? No, he didn't. Okay. Say, Kangas Kangaskhan high rolls, man. The bane of my existence. Can we get some of those low rolls, please? What about those low rolls, though, dude? Like, what, what's going on with them low rolls? Let's go ahead and start putting some points on Geodude. Do you stretch kick? We know we have that. We're not gonna worry about it. Go ahead and start attacking this thing some more. We don't want him to have that out here. He's probably gonna get to execute at some point. Is he gonna go into Venusaur? Oh, he's gonna heal it, okay. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm gonna start actually hitting this Kangaskhan now. Um, and now this is dead, so that sucks. Not cool. All right. So this is also not going very well, but we're going to continue to try. Okay. Let's see. Or at least we're do at least we're going to be mega effective versus Kangaskhan. We're not going to be able to avoid getting hit next turn though. Let's see what the opponent does. OK, 
Okay. Oh, man. Okay. We get hit a little bit. We'll at least kill it this next turn. But he probably has Venusaur already. Okay. We just got Graveler. So that's kind of good. At least we can go ahead and kill this. Well, he only has one thing, though. Hmm. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Um, okay, let's see what's going on here now. So I can kill this, and hopefully next turn, I can still kill this Venusaur EX if it comes out. But if he has enough, if he has Venusaur EX, then it's kind of over with, to be honest. So we can kill this, but if he has Venusaur EX, it's over with. Let's see. Oh man. Well, it sucks that we don't get a heads. So if he has it, we just die. Honestly, I think we just die regardless. So it's kind of over. It's definitely over. Go ahead. Such bad luck. Oh, we're going second this time. That's not ideal. But we'll see what we can do. At least we got, well, I don't mind going second if I do have Geodude in my hand. We can try to kill this a little early. Him going first though might be bad. He's probably got Executor. He'll probably be able to kill us in one hit. But we'll see. If we can get some good luck, we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and use Professor Research. Oh, I, sh I should use a Pokeball first. Dang it. That's, that's exactly why I use Pokeball first. That's exactly why. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, we know we're getting hit Mon Lee, so we'll go ahead and put it out here. That's exactly why I do that. All right, let's go ahead and hit this. What sucks is that I don't, I won't be able to deal enough damage to this in time, probably. I'm assuming that, yeah, he's gonna be able to kill us in two hits, so. Instead, I am going to put out, put a point on this deal, dude. And I'll just hit this. He's probably gonna have, like right ne ne now, he's gonna be able to transform into Exactutor, I think, right? How much damage will he have though is the question. He has X speed. Okay, never mind. So I can actually kill this with um with him only, which is fine. So we still die, but we know we're going for that executor next, so 
And then after that, I'm going right into Dugtrio. Because <clears throat> he has nothing else that I really want to hit. I guess. Or you know what? I may I may do it. I don't know. We'll see. Go ahead and go into Graveler. Do this. Let's go ahead and kill this before he can transform. Well, you know what? Wait a minute. Oh, I can't go back. Never mind. Let's go ahead and do this. I was gonna put out Diglett because I don't really have anything else I want to put out. You know? We only have five Pokemon lines and yeah. <laughs> so if I can if I can start tagging this some and he doesn't hit us enough with this, then I can actually deal some damage to this. This is what we really need to be putting damage onto right now. He'll eventually get this out and we only need, we just need to kill one thing and then have Golem for the, for the other things. That's all. He's only killed one of our Pokemon. So let's keep that in mind. Um, and I may even be able to, I could have, well, we don't have Sabrina. So, so that's fine. If we had Sabrina, then I could have actually done something else where we do have, we do have Brock now. So that's good. But let's keep on attacking this. He's probably, he's definitely got an Erica. But yeah, if I end up getting Sabrina at some point, I can actually kill this and that'll be fine. Okay. So that's dead. So I'm going to put in. So now I'm going to put in Golem. I'm not afraid of anything that he has now. I don't think so, at least. And we got enough energy to kill. So. Unfortunately, I can't do the thing I wanted to do, which was really hurt that back line first and then go for an attack. It'd be nice if I had Sabrina, but we don't. If he has a Venusaur next turn, I don't think he's gonna be able to kill us anyways. So he's gonna have to go into this Bulbasaur and whatever he puts in, I should be able to kill. So even if he was to go into Executor, Execute, he wouldn't be able to go into Executor right off the bat. So now we've won. I don't think there's anything he can do. I don't think there's anything he can do to win right now. He can back up and go to Kangaskhan, but it doesn't matter. That's not gonna deal enough damage. And because we still have Pokemon left, we'll just win. Wait, or will we go to a t We have more Pokemon than him. Because we have more Pokemon than him, we go into a tiebreaker, but I have more, so we win. It's weird, but I have more than him, so I should win. Yep, right. They get one as well, but it's a tie. But I have Pokemon to go out. Never mind, it's a tie. Oh my god. I thought that it would be a win. What? That's crazy. I thought I thought if I had more Pokemon, I would win. Apparently it's not that way it works. Okay, well. Okay, great. Um, well, looks like I have to redo this. <laughs> Yet again. All right, so this one's a little uh, a little scummed right now, but hey, we'll we'll get through it. Yeah, now we know that we can't we can't die like that. I thought that we would win if uh, we had more Pokemon to them out, but apparently not. Apparently that is not the case. So you have to be careful with that. At least now we have Diglett and we're going first. We don't have Doug Trio though, but maybe we can get it. Although his lineup is looking kind of um kind of good, not gonna lie. I'm not I'm not liking his uh his lineup. Why would I use Sabrina game? Stop it. Don't tell me that. <laughs> Can I please have my Doug Drio? That's what I would like. Professor, are you gonna give me my Doug Trio? Oh where oh where has my Doug Trio gone? Well, that's not Doug Trio. That's 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 not Doug Trio. But okay. I do see you though, game. I do I do be seeing you. I do be seeing you. Oh, they're definitely top decking EX Venusaur and 
executor and all sorts of stuff. Look at this. Look at this. Look, 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 look at this. Look at this computer right here. Well, at least they're not gonna deal all the damage, but if they deal enough, it doesn't matter. Okay, well, can I get my duck trio now? <laughs> we don't even have any EX Pokemon. Give us our damn evolutions, game. Give us our damn evolutions. Or give me a give me something. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's like no reason to put any points on, on Diglett. He's he's going to die. He's going to die and it's gonna be painful. Um Okay. I'll end my turn. If I get Brock next turn, then I can do something. Let's see. Nope. They give us a poke. They finally give us some deck searching stuff. Well, I guess we did get a professor that just gave us nothing, but we are pretty much going to be gone. Um, even doing this, like this thing is going to deal a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and hit. It doesn't matter if we put a Pokemon out or not. And I would hate for him to Sabrina us. We know this deck has Sabrina, but we do kick it with Graveler. Okay, we could, well, we still kill that. Okay, we kind of needed that real talk. He's still going to deal 60 damage to us. But we'll go into we're gonna deal 50 damage to ourselves too so i think this might still be it yeah this thing can can still can still kill us so unless wait a minute what well, can he he can deal oh we'll, we'll still kill ourselves oh there's like nothing i can do here because he healed himself so Maybe I should have Sabrina then hit it and then we could do that. Oh, well, we can we can do that. But now Bulbasaur is going to come out and kill us. He deals extra damage and stuff. So let's go ahead and try again. Stop it. Stop it, Ivysaur. Don't you do kill. Don't you touch me. He had an ideal start. And I had a bad start. Maybe I should have just recorded this this morning when I did this on stream. But I mean, you are going up against a deck that has more power than you, basically, and everything it's gonna be hitting harder. So there's not a whole lot you can do besides try to hide behind walls. That's why the game's not giving us our wall. It put it keeps putting our our uh, duck trios at the bottom of. The, okay, never mind. They gave us to it. Great. Also, just want to let you know we can still lose by going first if they get Kangaskhan and they do a high roll. So. Still, still could be bad. But in this case, let's use Professor Research. Try to get something else we can throw out here. Ideally, we would like to have gotten a um, Geodude, but that's fine. We'll put him only out there. Okay, of course, they get Professor Research too. Ooh, and a Pokeball. They're just living like Larry, huh? Okay, I, if if this Kangaskhan gets another high roll on my Diglett, I'm okay. I was gonna be quite upset, but okay. <clears throat> and we we haven't hit a single heads with Diglett yet today. I don't think. Well, not in new, not in these games. Let's go ahead and go for this. Where the heck is my Geodude? I need my Geodude so I can start putting damage on him, uh, energy on him later. All right, well, at least they have a Kangaskhan we can kill in two hits. Too bad it's going to kill us next turn. It's going to get a high roll and kill us, I, I swear. I swear. I swear that's what's going to happen, man. Okay, it didn't kill us, but man, it's, 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 it's encroaching on it. <laughs> 
Okay, we got every line we need for stuff that we ain't got right now. Can we please have something that I want? You know, that'd be nice. I'll put it on hit on Lee, might as well. Now, can I please protect myself for next turn? No, I can't. He's gonna put in this thing and just kill me. He just ki he just kills me. Where's my Geo dudes at? I have so much energy to put on Geo dude. Where's where is he at? Nowhere to complain. You know what? Nowhere to nowhere to be. <clears throat> oh wow. I can put my foot on his Venusaur. Okay, Professor, what you doing down here? Can you give me a Geodude, please? You couldn't. You could only give me a Pokeball, but I guess that's your version of a Geodude. Thank you. I guess. Actually, no, I need you to kick. I need you to kick that. But first, let me put this on Geo, dude. Yeah, do that. Just kick that, kick that again. And then we, he has an Erica. There's no way he doesn't. I'm gonna do this. So whatever he puts in here is not gonna have a whole lot of, won't have a whole lot of health. Um, I can, if he doesn't heal that, I can kill that with, uh, with Graveler next turn. If he doesn't heal it. Oh man, thank God. All right, so Sabrina kind of saved our cheeks this game. We're gonna just retreat, bring in Graveler. They never expect this. Oh wait, no, I can't do this. Oh well, I, I forgot I can't do both of them. What I can do, what I can do is Go ahead and Brock up. He won't be able to kill us. He won't be able to kill us. And then next turn I can use Giovanni. I forgot that I forgot that I can't I know attack can be used. If I attack it, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna heal if I attack. So I'm not gonna do that. He's gonna Oh wow. So he backed up. I think we still win though. I'm, I'm pretty sure we still win. Let's, let's put this out. What's on Doug Trio? Cause the only way he wins is if he hits a double with Kangaskhan. If he doesn't, he dies. It's an if he dies, he dies moment. He has to hit a double with Kangaskhan. If he does, then we'll then kill him with Dugtrio though. So he also can't win. Okay, so great. Oh man, this was so, this was such a crazy game. I, I messed up. I messed up that one time, but man, still though. I still don't. Oh, I can't do that. Well, yeah, I can. I could if I wanted to. It doesn't matter. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just messing around now because I'm happy I won. But man, it's that was tough. Kill him. You're gonna die yourself, but kill him. Now, now we win the tiebreaker because I get one point, he gets one point, but I only needed one. Oh man. Oh man. Sabrina really did come in clutch right there. Sabrina came in such clutch. Without Sabrina, I don't think we were gonna be able to uh, take that. But man, that was. We finally got it. We finally got it. You can definitely do it with this deck. This deck is, it has no EXs. It's very budget friendly. So if you need to build this deck, 
Um, I think it cost about, it cost 1,105 um, points, but you don't have to get like all the Sabrinas and all the stuff. You can, you can exchange some stuff out of there. And you don't have to get both of the lines for Graveler either. You can put some other stuff in there, but I like having that other line for Graveler. So hopefully this helped you guys out a little bit. And if it did, you know, drop a sub, like the video, drop a comment, say, hey, Loopy, it helped me. I'd appreciate it. It'd be great. Make the channel the best channel ever. I tell you, it's the best channel. I was telling, I was telling somebody the other day, I said, this channel's the best channel ever. I'm telling you, no, I'm just kidding. But, uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I'm going to put out the other videos too. We got four more, obviously. And uh, hopefully they help you guys. Peace.